good morning so this is a continued part of the things which we have discussed in the introduction introductory video of the cytoskeleton okay so now, now as you can see it on the screen there are there is a basic definition of the cytoskeleton which is go through it what is actually cytoskeleton so it is something which is providing structural support to the cell the cytoskeleton also functions in cell motility and regulation so there are two basic parts in the definition here so first of all the cytoskeleton provides structural support to the cell okay then the next part is as i have already said in the last thing that it also what you can call it is important in the function of the cell like motility and regulation very two important terms we'll discuss regarding it in the coming slides okay so cytoskeleton not only are important to form the structure of the cell that means that how actually a cell looks like and how actually a cell wants to be in the animal's body where in it actually wants to fit and what all functions it is it or it is supposed to perform or it wants to perform that all depends upon cytoskeleton so two different two parts in the definition first of all it, it, the, it is something which is providing structural support to the cell and the cytoskeleton also functions in cell motility and regulation okay what is motility and regulation we'll see it in the coming slides okay in the next slide you can see here <coughs> the structural support first of all how does the structural support and the what you call is given by the cytoskeleton to the animal cell so structural support is given first of all by mechanical support in that the first thing what we are going to discuss is regarding the mechanical support okay so the mechanical support why it is actually important is because the animal's body is very prone to different type of shocks like mechanical shock like physical shock like biological shock because animal's body is a dynamic condition or dynamic system okay unlike the plant body where wherein it has also got some different uh, shocks um, coming into its way but the animal's body has got more uh, possibility of getting exposed to that okay then what actually happens here the mechanical support it is it is provided by the cytoskeleton the cell if it wants to stretch bend elongate so uh, without undergoing any damage that will be given by the cytoskeleton okay so the cytoskeleton consists of mainly fibers thin fibers made up of proteins okay and that proteins they act like a geodesic dome to stabilize and balance the opposing forces now what is the geodesic dome you can see it on the screen in the uh, what you call the this particular slide these are the geodesic structures geometrical structures where a sphere is what you can call where a sphere is uh, there and at every pressure point one particular knot is there through which different bars are connected with each other if you just dismantle one bar the entire structure cannot be retained this is a what you call basic structure of a geodesic structure okay so here fibers also act that means fibers means the cytoskeletal fibers they also act as geodesic dome that is actually stabilizing and opposing the balancing forces stabilizing and balancing the opposing opposing forces that is what actually mean okay then later it provides anchorage for organelles it provides anchorage for organelles that means anchorage might be knowing the general term so anchorage means where actually the cell wants the what materials actually wants to stuck in the cell so actually, actually it will be forming a what we call a mesh like structure in which the in which the cell organelles or that means cell the different parts of the cell are stuck or are stuck there okay then next thing is it is very dynamic i'll just explain regarding this in the coming slides with the help of some good photographs okay then it is dynamic that means it is able to get dismantled at one spot and reassembles in another to change cell shape that means cytoskeleton means you might be getting an idea that you might be getting an idea that 
the it might be a rigid, rigid structure as it is present in our as it is present in our in our body but it is not like that the, the cytoskeleton are very flexible very dynamic that means they are able to undergo assembling and disassembling assembling and disassembling okay so for this particular thing the cytoskeletal structure needs to have a proper protein structure okay so this is what is happening you can see it in the next slide there uh, so here okay a very good photograph is it is the electron mic micrograph photograph so the cytoskeleton is a network of fibers extending throughout the cytoplasm the cytoskeleton organizes the structure and activities of the cell okay so here it is a mesh like structure you can see it in the seat on the screen through which in which the materials are going to struck so this is a, a, a mesh like structure which is formed in the cell in which the what we call the materials are struck you can take the example of the what we call the concrete slab which is there in the home the bar of the framework of the bar it is actually nothing but like a comparable to cytoskeleton the concrete which we are which putting it in in that is nothing but the cell organelles so the contents of the cell so both together will form a integrated structure that actually is cytoskeleton okay next what can call the cytoskeleton plays a major role in cell motility this involves both changes in cell location and limited movement to the part of the cell cell motility i was talking about so cell motility is nothing but what we call not movement shown by the cell but actually the what we call the movements which are happening inside the cell it is actually called as cell motility what movements are happening in the cell now so the, the, there are different movements which are happening inside the cell that means the different transportation of materials from one part of the cell to another part of the cell so these things are happening with the help of this what we call cytoskeleton now how okay so that we'll learn it a bit later now next next point what it is mentioned in the slide you can see there the, this involves both changes in cell location and limited movement of the part of the cell okay then the cytoskeleton interacts with motor proteins okay that means there are the cytoskeleton are nothing but actually acting as the railways and motor proteins are the trains so upon which the materials are carried from one part of the cell to another part of the cell okay very good example they have taken is regarding the cilia and flagella motor proteins pull components of the cytoskeleton past each other that means they are showing the gliding movement you can see it in the bottom uh, part of this particular slide where microtubule of cytoskeleton and motor protein which will be powered by the atp molecule are both gliding upon each other giving rise to the cell motility parts okay so this is also very true in muscle fibers what basically every animal's body has got as muscles and its movement is shown by these particular things okay now coming to the next thing <coughs> okay the types so there are three main types of of this particular thing that is the uh, what we call cytoskeletal uh, cytoskeleton type that is microtubules microfilaments and intermediate filaments okay so these are the three basic things what we should know regarding in cytoskeleton now here is a very good basic table what actually uh, you are seeing it on the screen is nothing but the differences in the three types of the microtubules sorry the cytoskeleton okay at one left hand side you can see the property of the um, cytoskeleton parts and the different what you can call types microtubules microfilaments and intermediate filaments the different things which are compared here that is structure diameter protein subunits and as well as the main function later the structure is also shown in the form of uh, electron micrograph colored photographs fluorescent photographs actually and later uh, these particular what you can call uh, the protein subunits which are what you call how actually they are formed with the help of uh, animated structure as it is shown when comparing coming to the structure the largest cytoskeletal is nothing but microtubules the smallest is nothing but the microfilaments and the intermediate is nothing but the intermediate filaments as the name goes okay uh, the diameter structure also it is comparable it is very clearly visible on the screen you can see there and the protein subunits which are present in the microtubules it is nothing but tubulin alpha and beta tubulin and in the microfilaments it is acting protein 
and in the intermediate filaments it is one of very different type of or different uh, what you call proteins which are found in the keratin family that means generally the proteins which from the keratin protein family okay then the functions is also comparable you can see uh, they have got different little bit different functions to perform it is very clear on the screen and the structure is also very clear you can see how uh, that uh, in the animated structure you can see the tubulin and l what you call tubulin monomer that is alpha and beta tubulin how it is formed and in the second microfilaments how actin subunits are formed and the intermediate filaments how the protein subunits are actually located which is a very typical structure of a muscle fiber okay so this is in brief regarding the uh, cytoskeletal and its function definition and types okay Thank you.